this quick video is going to show you why it's important to examine the difference between the lens diameter needed and the diameter that's available. Since we're dealing with lens thickness, we're also dealing with safety and impact resistance of the lens. The FDA mandates that the thinnest point on the lens must withstand impact testing requirements. To avoid having to test every lens, manufacturers determine the minimum thickness for their lenses. Anything thinner might not withstand impact standards and is out of compliance. For minus lenses, the minimum thickness is at the center and for plus is at the edges. In this example, the minimum thickness is 1.5 millimeters. No matter how large or small the lens is, the thinnest point must be 1.5 millimeters thick to ensure it meets impact resistance standards. For both minus and plus powered lenses, as the diameter increases, the thickness increases. For minus lenses, this excess thickness caused by the increased diameter is removed when the lens is edged to size, so it's more of an inconvenience to the lab. The oversized diameter takes longer on the edgers, harder on the lens in general, and costs the business a little bit more, but it doesn't impact the finished product. For plus lenses, it does. As the diameter increases, the overall lens thickness increases. When a plus lens is edged, it only gets thicker. If the blank size varies too much from what was required by the order, the final lens will have significantly more thickness than is necessary. Excess of plus thickness also means additional lens weight and an increased magnification of the wearer's eye. To avoid this problem, always select the smallest blank size available, and when it comes to plus lenses, make sure to examine the difference between the blank size needed and the blank size available, and take this into consideration, as the lens may be better off being processed in the surfacing lab. When a plus lens is surfaced, the minimum edge thickness can be based on the final lens diameter as opposed to the blank diameter. Just before the new curvature and thickness is cut into the lens, the blank diameter is cut down to its final lens diameter. This cribbing technique allows the edged lens to be generated based on the final lens diameter, thus eliminating any difference between the minimum blank size and the available diameters, resulting in the thinnest possible lens profile. This processing step is much more common today than it used to be. Most processing equipment makes it so easy to do that almost all lenses are cribbed down regardless of their lens power. This helps to speed up overall processing times down the line and results in thinner plus lenses. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.